Number five, an epidemic. The opioid crisis killing more people than ever, but the terrible trend is transcending into more organ donations than ever before. Action News reporter Brian Abel breaks down the changing donor dynamic. Well, back in 2007, only 1.6 percent of Michigan donors who died died from a drug overdose. Last year, that number surged to nearly 16 percent, according to new data by the Gift of Life Michigan, creating a unique opportunity for those desperately in need. It's hard on them. It's hard on your wife, your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers. John Jackson's 54 year old kidneys are shutting down. He's been on a donor waiting list for two years. It's something that I wouldn't want nobody to go through. You know, even if I didn't like the person, I still wouldn't want them to go through. He isn't alone. More than 3,300 people are waiting for an organ in Michigan. But last year, only 320 people who died in the state gave that precious gift of life to others. And there's a tragic new trend, the opiate crisis. Drug overdose deaths have spiked, creating a bittersweet opportunity for people like Jackson. Depending on the drug and the route, typically the victim succumbs to an anoxic injury. Anoxic meaning without air. Chief Clinical Officer Bruce Nicely with Gift of Life Michigan says when that happens, typically the organs are okay. And advancements in screening mean doctors can detect if an organ has any disease from the drug use. We are able now to detect uh, that someone was exposed to HIV, for example, or one of the hepatitis infectious agents three or four days before this event. Still, the organs are flagged as increased risk, leaving the John Jacksons with a difficult decision. Because it's taking somebody's brother, you know, daughter, child, father, mother, whatever it might be. And I did sign the papers for that mm -hmm. because if there's any chance that I can get a kidney to make me live a little longer, I'm with, I'm, I, will, I will be glad to do that. And Nicely says the uptick is without a doubt a mixed blessing, not just for those getting the organs, but for the grieving families who might get some comfort or hope knowing their tragedy of death gave life to another. Reporting in Southfield, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.